Hockey. Sports Director Nick Carboni joining us live now from Bank of America Stadium. Nick, kind of shocking with this, especially when you consider the team just traded its star player. Yeah, Jane, just three days ago, Carolina sent Christian McCaffrey to San Francisco in a trade, really a signal to everybody outside this building that the team was quote unquote tanking for a top draft choice next year. But don't tell that to the guys that played on this field today. They beat the Bucks 21 to three at home. They did it with a dominant defense that frustrated Tom Brady all afternoon. A great ground attack. The Panthers rushing for over 170 yards. And the story of the day, a sensational performance from P.J. Walker at quarterback. Probably two of the best throws we've seen by a Panthers signal caller all year. In the end, a stunning 21-3 win, the first for interim head coach Steve Wilkes, who, oh, by the way, is from Charlotte. I'm extremely proud um, of the men in that locker room. Uh, I just told them that they continue to impress me uh, by the way they just overcome adversity and circle the wagons and come together. And uh, that definitely wasn't a team out there today was trying to tank it. These men in this room have too much, too much character, all right, to even, even five and something like that. So uh, again, just excited about the win today. Well, after the game in a very excited Panthers locker room, Wilkes giving a game ball to P.J. Walker and then owner David Tepper giving one to Wilkes. So now the Panthers are kind of in a precarious position at two and five. They still have one of the worst records in the NFL on track for one of the top draft picks, but they're also only one game off the division lead behind these Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons, and they go play the Falcons next week. It's a bunch of fighters with a fighting chance. Live at Bank of America Stadium, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte. Thank you, Nick.